that was the plan, but that won't work out. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. And today is one day prior to our Paris trip. This is a pack with me. Disclaimer, this is going to be a chaotic video with Mary in bad mood. So if you're here for positive vibes only, probably better check out a different video because your girl is stressed and you will be able to see that. Well, I do not even know where to start. I'm not as well prepared as I was hoping to be. I imagined a beautiful video where I can show you outfits, where I can show you everything I take with me and chit chat a little bit with you and be relaxed and everything is prepared and fine for tomorrow. But truth is, nothing of that is the case. And the beautiful bags you saw on the thumbnail and in the intro, well, guess what? They won't come with me. First things first. Unfortunately, I don't know what's the first thing. Let's start with my Chanel classic flap. And please excuse the chaos. I'm not sure if you even can see it, if it is more chaos than usual. Um, yeah, going to Paris, of course, I was thinking of taking my vintage Chanel classic single flap jumbo bag. It's a little bit out of shape. I'm still planning on getting a bag organizer to get it into better shape, but that's not today's problem. So, oh, I already put my passport into that bag. I have to put that passport somewhere else because this bag won't go with me. Thinking of Paris, of course, I was thinking about Chanel and I wanted to take this bag as my one and only bag. I thought I'll go with all my clothes black, maybe some white highlights, maybe some red accessories and that's it. And then everything will go with everything. But a few days ago, I started researching, preparing for my trip, initially just to check what is out there that I want to see in Paris. And one of the videos I watched mentioned that Paris would be a quite dangerous city, not in case of violence and murder and stuff like that, but there would be a lot of thieves. Bags get robbed, bags get cut open, there are pickpockets seemingly everywhere. After I heard it in one video, I started researching and one video after another popped up where they were warning you to keep your bags very close to you, to have a bag that you can close and that is very secure and the things happen even if you watch your bags and that it is possible if you look like money your items might even get cut open and i just couldn't take it if someone would cut open my classic chanel bag which is the most expensive bag in my collection well it's not very understated it has the huge cc buckle logo clasp it screams chanel first i was thinking okay i can wear it the other way around i can double up the straps and then wear it against my body and I can hold on to it when we are in crowded places and when we are in the metro but after watching all these videos I just got somewhat worried and most probably nothing bad will happen at all but in case anything bad would happen and I was thinking about it beforehand I couldn't take it. I would freak out that I didn't listen to my gut feeling and listen to all the warnings that I heard in YouTube videos and still took the most expensive bag in my entire collection with me on that trip, so it hurts a little bit to leave it here, but I will leave it here, because better be safe than sorry, I guess. And since I created all the outfits and ideas in my mind around that bag, I had quite a hard time to make up another plan. So yeah, sorry Chanel. You would have had an amazing time in Paris, but not with me, not this time. Maybe if it's all not that bad as I heard <laughs> on YouTube. And if we ever go to Paris again, I might feel more secure the next time. But since I've never been to that city and I just don't want to take the risk. So that's that. I decided to go for two more understated bags that I'm going to show you. But let's go on with my luggage. So we are traveling without suitcases. We only will have hand luggage and you are allowed to take one handbag. And I was thinking to myself, but that was the plan as well before I watched all these terrible videos about criminality. I was thinking about taking my vintage keyboard that should have the right measurements for hand luggage and my Speedy 40 as the handbag. But then again, I thought, do I really want to draw that much attention to me with full on monogram? 
We will have a shuttle service from the airport to our Airbnb, so we do not have to take the metro for that when we arrive. But we do not have a concrete plan for the departure yet, so it's possible that we would take the metro when we departure. And do I really want to take a risk on our last day? After four days in Paris, you would think I might have gotten a better feeling for the city and maybe I would be able to know if it is a good idea to go into the metro with these pieces or if we should take a taxi back to the airport again. But yeah, somehow I just don't feel like it anymore. And I don't have a shoulder strap for my kipo since I bought it at the flea market and it didn't come with one and I always wanted to get a shoulder strap but I didn't do so yet so it would be quite uncomfortable to carry it in my hand all the time. And since I already got quite frustrated with the luxury bag recommendations about safety, I decided okay, okay, I won't take my kipo. I go more understated, underrated. Oof. And I will take this nylon Stella McCartney Adidas. Now I start saying Adidas the way the Americans say it. It's Adidas, not Adidas. Nylon, understated, hand luggage, lilac bag is going to be my hand luggage. And I need a handbag that is as big as possible so that I can put some stuff into the bag instead of the hand luggage. And I measured out my 3D40 and it has 40 centimeters in length, which would be allowed. It has 30 centimeters in height, which would be the maximum of which is allowed as well. But I might only have 15 centimeters here and I think that's 20 or 25 or something. I measured it and already forgot it again. So this one is too big and since I plan to go the understated route anyways. My speedy 40 bandolier won't come with us either. Isn't this going great? And I'm sorry if this is very chaotic or if I seem very frustrated. I am and I'm quite stressed and I can't wait to sit on the plane when everything is packed and I cannot change anything anymore and I can start to look forward to our vacation. So that's that. Now I will show you the handbag I'm going to take as my handbag for the flight, which unfortunately doesn't make sense with any of my outfits, because can you believe it that I do not have a single bag that is big enough to fit a whole lot and still go with my outfits? Yeah, well, some of you might know this Röckel leather bag. I bought it at the flea market at a really great price. It is a great German quality brand. And it has the perfect measurements to be my handbag for the flight, to not be too big, but to be very roomy. The only con is that it doesn't go with any of the outfits I planned, but I'm just going to put the two other bags that I take with me into that bag. And this will function as a bag for bags, so that I have some more room, because even with the two bags that I take, I still have some additional room in this bag in case I shop something and would run out of space. Things would work out better if this bag was black with silver hardware because then it would go with the outfits I had in mind. It has golden hardware which doesn't go with anything at all that I planned but this one is just for practicality. So that's that. Oh, I show you another bag I had in mind before I heard about the security issues. So it seems like this book told has the perfect measurements for the handbag you are allowed to take. So. That was what I was planning when I still was naive and thought the world is a great place. And I planned to put my Chanel bag into that bag and some more little stuff and that this would be my handbag for the flight. But then again, if we would go back to the airport with public transportation, this is so open, it doesn't have a zipper at all. And that's not secure for pickpockets at all. So yeah, that bag won't come with me. And at one point in time, oh, I was thinking about taking my micro Fendi peekaboo, but decided against it as well, because it doesn't hold my phone. And these videos said, never put your phone on the table, it will get stolen immediately. So. It's definitely not a good idea to take a bag with you that doesn't fit your phone and then you would have to put your phone on the table or have it in a pocket, which you should not do because you might get pickpocketed. So yeah, this one will stay here as well. And I hope if you are packing for Paris as well and you are searching for a video what to pack and now you see this, I hope I don't get you as frustrated as I am. Possibly I might film a video after that trip with more experience and then I can tell you that everything is fine and it's not as terrible as I imagine it right now and that I was way too careful. These bags stay here and I'm not sure if you are really interested in my outfits 
but we can just take a little look what's inside my bag. I have a bunch of masks. I have a little scale to measure our luggage when we get back because it's allowed to have 12 kilogram for both pieces, so the handbag and the hand luggage. And right now it's only four kilogram, but you never know how much you will shop. So I'll take it and then we can be safe on our way back. In terms of shoes, I'm going to take three pairs. Well, I'm going to wear one pair and take two additional ones. I'm already sure about two pairs. So I'm taking these Espandrill sandals because they are very comfy. I can walk with them a lot. It's going to be super hot. So I thought a pair of sandals is a good idea. And I'm going to take these Zara slides with mesh and polka dots. They are quite comfortable as well. I think they are somewhat elegant. I hope they will work in the evening as well and I can walk with them quite well. I won't take any heels because I heard Paris is a lot of walking even if you take the public transportation and heels take up room, heels are heavy, so I won't take heels with me this time. So that's the two pairs of shoes I'm taking with me. And for the flight and to walk around in the city as well, I want one pair of comfortable sneakers. And I'm not entirely sure yet which one to take. It's either going to be my Nike Air or my Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know what's the name of these. They have little stars. And of course they are the more luxurious option. They look more elegant as well. But I think plain black will go with more outfits. So I probably go with these. For the Saint Laurent sneakers, I'm not worried about safety because I don't think someone will steal my shoes from my feet. And they are very understated. If you don't know, you don't know. And I don't think they would draw any attention to me, but they are more simple and probably will go with more outfits. So I guess that's the decision. And I'm going to take these, well, not take these, but wear these for the flight. So. Now let me show you some of my clothes and I'm quite sure I overpacked because I always overpack. We are going to stay three nights and four days, but of course day one and day four are arrival and departure as well. So technically I'm already wearing something that day. I still have to iron. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> The button on these trousers fell off, possibly because someone gained a little weight and I think I sewed it back on onto the wrong side. It does still close, but it does look stupid. So I guess I have to redo it. Great, as if I do not have enough to do today anyways. The button should be inside. Okay, great. Okay, I have to redo this. This is going to be my pair of pants. They are very flowy, very comfortable, satiny looking from Zara, high waisted, lightweight, and I'm going to wear them for the flight. In case I manage to get the button to the right spot and probably I'm going to wear for the flight as well, a basic H&M shirt, which is striped with very fine stripes and little ruffles on the sleeves. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that shirt because it might be too cliche to go for stripes but somehow I liked it and yeah possibly I'm going to take it. Then it's a black basic shirt but it has some kind of mesh and polka dots in the décolleté area and it goes very cute with the Zara shoes I'm taking so that's a shirt I take. What is this? Oh yeah I have one little black dress in case we go out to have dinner. Well, it's not a question of in case we probably will have dinner each and every night because we don't have any food at the place we stay. Then my little Loewe shirt, you might know it from my Munich vlog where I already wore it. It goes very well with the flowy pants as well. And that already makes three t-shirts for four days, but it's going to be hot so one might sweat a lot. I have one little meshy top that needs a little bandeau beneath it that it is not see-through. Goes with the flowy pants as well and I have one skirt with me. It's this pleated midi skirt, black as well, goes with the colors of all the other pieces that do not have colors. And 
I'm not sure if I should take this top. I think take it or leave it. I don't know. It's somewhat a thicker material, so it might get too hot. I will think about this one. But it goes as well with the pleated skirt and the flowy pants very well. Already makes too many options of combinations. But there's only one more piece of clothing left. I hope this won't be a very negative video because I'm not in the best mood. Uh, I hate it. I hate to do videos when I'm not a happy person because I think that's not so much fun to watch, but we're getting through this. So I'll take a little flowy dress in pink because this can work for daytime and nighttime depending on how it is combined so that I have some kind of color. Initially I planned to go for red as the only color I take, but since the plan with the Chanel bag didn't work, I switched to another bag that I'm going to show you in a second and then I want to have something else in pink. So. I showed you clothes, I showed you shoes. Oh, jackets, jackets. I'm undecided yet. I will wear my jacket on the flight and I don't know yet which one to take. Option one is this somewhat oversized Zara blazer. It makes every look more special, but it doesn't work with one of the shirts. The striped one is too much with the check, but maybe it still would work because it's only one piece then that doesn't work. But this is the one I plan to wear on the flight, so I'm wearing stripes today as well, so we might check how it looks, but... <laughs> no. I could wear another shirt for the flight and then the blazer would work and I would only have to wear the shirts in the daytime when I don't need a blazer and then the whole thing could work. <sighs> yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Option two is a very simple black blazer from Armani and this one goes with absolutely everything but I'm not sure if I would prefer a somewhat more oversized look. It's not tight in width but it's not very long but it goes with everything and it is very elegant and elevates each look. I think I'm going to go for that one because it is a great blazer that goes with everything but let me show you the third option as well which is the most jacket version of all the versions I showed you. This is just a little light coat from H&M and I really like the way it is cut. I think it is very elegant as well. Hmm. Now I'm undecided because if it gets cold in the evenings maybe an actual jacket is the better choice. I wouldn't have to be worried about that one at all. And it has more of the long oversize look I was thinking about. Okay, 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 I think this is going to be the piece because it goes with everything. So I think we already made it to bags because the other accessories like jewelry. I'm going to go for silver only, but I don't have planned in detail yet what kind of jewelry. So let me show you my bag choices. I'm going to take the toiletry is it 26. The size is not written on the thing. Well, the biggest of them all. I still have to try it out if I will be able to put everything I need into it. But since I only have hand luggage and you are only allowed to take, is it 50 or 100 milliliter of each thing, I have to get travel sizes anyways or fill it into a smaller container. I have to go to the drugstore today as well because <laughs> there are still some things missing. And if everything I need fits into this one. I will take this as my toiletry because I thought then I might have the option to use this as a clutch as well if I feel like it, even though it has golden hardware as well, which doesn't go with anything else I have with me because the shoes have silver details and stuff. But yeah, I thought it's an option to have a clutch. Then I'm going to take my Epi Leather Louis Vuitton Alma BB as my main bag because I think it is very understated only if you know, you know, and I hope that the criminals don't know just from the shape. It has a very small LV logo, but it is a very secure bag as well when it's zipped. It's not easy to unzip. If someone would want to cut it, this is a very sturdy, heavy bag. I don't think one would get lucky with trying to cut it. And I can wear it top handle, I can wear it crossbody and hold it tight to my body. So I think this is a good option for a bag. It goes with the pink dress I took and I think it's a nice pop of color with all the black outfits to make them somewhat more friendly to look at. So that's my main bag for the trip and 
I'm going to take a second bag with me because initially I planned to have a black bag with silver hardware. So bag number two is very understated as well. Probably most of you will not even be able to tell what it is. It is a Louis Vuitton clutch bag as well, which will work perfectly for the evenings. It looks like EP leather, but well, it looks like vernis as well. It's a material called electric EP, and it's crossover between vernis patent leather and the EP leather structure. And the bag does have a shoulder strap as well. And with baguette bags being a thing, I can see this bag working at daytime for me as well. And I think it is very secure when I have it right under my arm. No one can go under the flap when I have it that close to me. So I think that's a bag as well that will work safely for me. So I'm going to take that one as well. And yeah, I'm going to take one belt, small thin leather belt in black with silver hardware that possibly goes with every outfit as well. And that's as far as I've come with packing. Oh no, actually. One more piece I already know. Since I'm taking two very small bags with me, I decided against the wallet, since the wallet is just one more piece that could get stolen. So I'm taking the Damier Graffite key clay, because it has this little hook. Then I can hook it onto the bags and have one extra layer of security. I will take, I think, two cards and only a little bit cash and then the key clay should be enough. I still have to check if there is a hook inside of the Alma BB where I can put it. No, there's no hook inside. Well, then I guess for the Alma BB, I will just put it to the side pocket and that has to be safe enough. That's everything I can show you so far. I need a pen and a paper and I need to write down what is missing right now so that I don't forget it. So I need a pair of sunglasses all my beauty stuff and socks and underwear, charger for my phone, earphones, and I think that's it. So <laughs> I made even more chaos with that video, so I'm going to clean that up again, put everything back in the bag, head to the drugstore, get the last pieces I need, and then hopefully I will get to bed early because we have to get up very early, and then I hope I can start into our little Paris trip in a better mood, more relaxed, not that scared about pickpockets and thieves and criminality, and hopefully it's going to be a great trip. I hope this was not too much of a bad mood video for you to watch. I probably will do an update after the trip and tell you how amazing the city is and that I was just super freaked out and overreacting and that this is how you do not have to pack because I'm just a crazy person. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. Please tell me, are you, are you like that as well? Always super stressed before a trip or is it just me? One should think a project manager, this is the most ugly pen I've ever seen, DHL. Um, one should think a project manager would be able to do these things better and plan ahead, but no, not me. Sorry. And I hope I'm in focus. I can't take it that I'm too stupid to sew on a button.